Yeah. Okay. Are we on now? Live. All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome to our time on the couch. This is uh, that moment that we talk to you about the state of the nation and we do some fundraising and uh, you meet very interesting personalities, right? Tonight, those of you who have been asking for the VP is back on the couch. <laughs> Say hello to them, man. Um, Dr. Fai. Um, uh, our brothers and sisters, um, Nigerians, wherever you are, I hope everyone you listen to us. Good evening. I am back with the team and we wanted to host this yesterday, but we had a very long day. Yeah. And we came back really tired and uh, we wanted to do it, but we said let's save it until the first weekend, uh, Sunday weekend of the here to say hello and for uh, our supporters, our party members and the wider Nigeria, we say Happy New Year to you all. You know, people have been asking after you that maybe you disappear. Ah, no, this. come on. I'm not uh, Jibril, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I said maybe you want to sit down. Or yeah. And you I get said, yourself cloned. Yes, and I, I said to you, some people will go on to talk about me being maybe a Ugandan. Yeah, yeah. So, like one. But interestingly, a lot of things have happened during the time I, I went. I was in Niger. Yeah. It's a very interesting thing to do. That was my first diplomatic assignment. <laughs> and then, yes, I did some work also in the center. I, work, I organized a public health campaign on tuberculosis, mm -hmm. uh, which is one of the deadly diseases now affecting the entire world. Nigeria is not too good also tuberculosis. We have very high prevalence of the disease and we are not doing very well also in terms of diagnosis and of course the treatment which is a very long period of treatment. Yeah. And then also went to Yola and then recently I also I was in Gombe State yes. which I also watched and participated in the National Grand Dissertation Competition. Wow. And then it's from there that I, I came to Abuja. And yesterday we were in Lokoja, Kaba, in Kogi State. And uh, basically, lots. Lots is happening since then. The people yes. were asking after you a lot. Yes. Worried. And Kano, Jigawa, and some other northern states recently we experienced a lot of cold weather conditions. I remember I had to go and ask my mother, you know, about blankets and so Because sometimes the temperature dropped to single. Wow. And when you go to flat houses, yes, and uh, some of the you wonder how they cope. You know, it was hazy, a lot of uh, upper respiratory tract infections, uh, and so on. And this is also the time of the year when people take charcoal, hot charcoal, to their rooms, and then you hear of fire incidents. So, 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 uh, I like to so we'll come back to you. This is uh, also on the couch with us today. This Matt Ajaja is the centurion candidate for the AAC uh, in Delta State is Delta North Santuna District candidate for AAC. Smarter Jaja is uh, arrived recently from Texas and uh, is doing that with us heading to Lagos tomorrow. And uh, some people saw your TV and they said uh, you performed very well so good job. Thank you. So say hello to our people. Hey good evening my fellow compatriots. Um, I'm so happy to be in Nigeria at this uh, historic moment and uh, I know there have been anxieties about my being in the country or my absence from the country. Yes, I was involved in an accident sometime in October. It was a very, very near fatal accident but I'm happy to be alive and well right now. I'm back. I'm uh, getting to the top. I'm going to take Delta back. Back. I'm ready uh, to work and I'm hoping that uh, people get more inspired than ever before because we have a moment of history. Beckoning on us. Beckoning on us. And yeah. We cannot do it without sacrifice. Mm. And that is uh, what we all need. Nigerians need to make that compelling sacrifice now or never. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Senator Smart and Jaja and VP. So today, you probably have heard that uh, some audio 
late. Uh, nobody has known about Dr. Rutimi Abenji, former governor of River State, now minister of uh, transportation to Buhari, and also the DG of the Buhari campaign. And he's saying that uh, Buhari doesn't read, he doesn't care, uh, and that Nigerians are hungry and are suffering. Uh, this was linked by uh, the opposition. But people have been sharing it a lot. But we said, this is what we have always said on this show, that the man doesn't know what he's doing and there is not much upstairs. Uh, and that is why Nigerians will be wasting four years of their lives on another Buhari uh, presidency. It's going to be more of the same. Uh, there's nothing to gain, there's nothing to give because you cannot give what you don't have. And one of the things uh, Baba doesn't have is intelligence, is competence. Uh, and uh, stamina. In Nigeria of 200 million people, 70% of those people, young people, desirous of very agile leadership, cannot find it with either PDP or APC. And it's very sad. So there's nothing new there. But we do, every, we do this every time we come on the show. We announce, for transparency reasons, our donation uh, situation uh, or fundraising situation. And tonight, the TIBAC financial summary update is uh, for January 6th is that uh, we have a challenge of 10,000 Nigerians to donate 10K each. This has been on since 17 December. And uh, we now have uh, 71 donors so far, which uh, is exciting. Nobody's clapping here tonight. Wow, wow. <laughs> they give back. Uh, we requested a million donation from 400 Nigerians and that's for 1 million each only three donors so far no new donors um, financial summary total amount donated since last fundraising event on January 3rd the bank is 622,059 naira GoFundMe is $970 which is 347,260 that's equivalent to naira Total is 969,319 Naira. Total amount donated since the beginning of the movement campaign to date, Zenith Bank is now at 53 million, 12,740 Naira, 93 Kobo. Take it back, Asha. GoFundMe is at $123,900. That's equivalent of 44 million. 356,200 Naira. Uh, so pretty much we're close to reaching that 100 million Naira goal. We're now at 97 million, 368, 940 uh, Naira, 93 Kobo. So we're about 2.6 uh, million Naira left to reach the 100 million Naira goal of uh, raising money for this campaign. And uh, since our last show, we'd like to mention the names of our donors, uh, except those who have indicated they don't want their names mentioned. Um, we have Yenu Galu who gave 10,000 Naira. There's a hair braiding uh, company, uh, Braid Exclusive Unisex Hair, uh, hair Port Limited, 6,000 Naira. Shikiru Shure Mele Kun, 10,000 Naira. An anonymous donor for 2,000 Naira. Isoken Nomoye Wense for 5,000 Naira. Ujite Kujuke, 1,000 Naira. Aru Shaye Nuruddin Olale Kun, 1,500. Mumu Emele Usemeke Francis, 11,000 Naira. Gladys Obamedo, 20,000 Naira. Kisli Ogochuku Maduaka, 20,000 Naira. Black Diamond Technologies, 500 Naira. Adida Yopoyemi Adeoshun, 500 Naira. Alison Joshua Ime Kuma, 2,000 Naira. Fide Bele Roland Ogo, 3,000 Naira. Dani Yusahid A, 3,000 Naira. Anonymous for 20,273 Naira. Uwolicha Oyeka Temple, 
10,236 Naira. Uh, Potikobo. Ama Henry, 1,000 Naira. Rafaola Oyebaji Olayi Wola, 10,000 Naira. Olado Tsunkayo, 1,000 Naira. Dan Kule is 250,000 Naira. Christopher, 50,000 Naira. Oluji Endurance, 5,000 Naira. Balogwa Dede Jisulema, 5,000 Naira. Florence and Hyogi, 3,000 Naira. Israel Ehiogi, 2,000 Naira. Femi Oluwa Shegwa Dewu, 10,000 Naira. Bitoye Joshua Olufemi, 20,000 Naira. Melo Nosaka, 3,000 Naira. Bruce Steven, Anire Jorise. Anire Jorise, this is 20,000 Naira. Toba Ande Michael, oh, 1,500 Naira. The case Damilola Urukayo, 5,000 Naira. Hills Jackson Agmons, 5,000 Naira. Dolby Rock Allied Industries Limited, Nigeria, uh, 2,550 Naira. Uluwaru Shegun Adeyeri, 100,000 Naira. Another anonymous donor for 1,000 Naira. Go Fund Me, Tutu Ogunsawo, $50. Lushuko Lele, $10. Henry Adishape, $200. Lai Adams, $100. Richard Udebe, $100. Maduachu Goji, regular donor, $50. Uluyemi Jegede, $30. Abimbola Bamidele, $50. Wilfred Oseya Hem, $30. Balata Pepinol, $50. Emmanuel John, $30. Edward Rupwe, $10. GJ Oladepo, $50. Austin Osahede, $10. Edwin Yasere, regular donor, $100. Agaki Otukoko, $10. Lukman Leary, $20. Greg Alibe, almost a daily donor, $20. Emmanuel Edegwe, $20. Yalex Ewere, Regular donor as well for thirty dollars. So we have special motion, uh, special mention tonight. These are people donated fifty thousand naira and above for one forty dollars and above. From last broadcast on January, we forgot to announce anonymous from Stanley for fifty thousand naira. Uh, someone who didn't want us to mention her name or his name also is uh, fifty thousand. That's anonymous. Everesi Otiase fifty thousand naira. Take it back, USA sent in 200,000 naira. Today, Ubadia, $142, which is equivalent of 8,836 naira. Elizabeth Ayodele, $200, which is equivalent of, uh, that's equivalent of uh, over 50,000 naira, like 60,000. Rashid Omokanye, $220, which is 78,000. Peter Ewege, $150, which is equivalent of $53,700. Tony Yelade, $200 as well. Uh, uh, for today, we have special mention of Dan Cooley for $250,000. Uh, Christopher, $50,000. Uh, Ulua Shegun, Adeyeri, $100,000. Henry uh, Adishafe, $200. A special mention uh, so what we do is uh, while we're at this if you are sending money we will be uh, going back and forth checking our accounts ZA bank account is uh, 100602 and we have a GoFundMe account at gofundme.com slash over 2019 uh, where we do the discussion so you can also ask us questions uh, as uh, you might have questions to any of us uh, but before we proceed I we met someone today who was an interesting visit to the guy at the back of uh, uh, somewhere close to Jabila he's, he's a security person he's guiding the entire water parks he had no place he was, uh, we 
was so in the morning when we went there, by the evening, I had finished the house. The house yes. Low cost housing. <laughs> it was without electricity, no toilets, mm -hmm. uh, and you need to put in a bed there. We actually assisted in helping to build the house. Yeah. But what was amazing is how people work very hard in Nigeria and less, and people don't work and so much. Uh, we showed this guy, and uh, his name is Usman Amino, and he's 22 years old from Adamoa State. From Mubi, he said that it was a time the area was affected by Boko Haram. Somehow he finished his WASP, you know, I mean, it's the SSCE, you know, Senior Secondary School Certificate, examination, and uh, he can't find anything else to do but to come do a media job uh, in Abuja. So, some of of you have asked if there's a way you can help him. Yes, we, we can uh, help uh, the process where you can get to him. As a rule, I don't want to collect money meant for someone else into the account of the campaign. But we're going to direct you directly to him uh, or to his account if you want to donate money to him. He sent the account earlier, but I don't think it was completely correct. So I've asked him to resend the updated account. But we also assisted him a little bit. You know, it was not to show any symbolism of poverty. Everybody is poor in Nigeria. and. Uh, the campaign is not trying to get into, uh, you know, too much philanthropy because then we'll be bogged down by everybody that has a problem, including us. So, but it's just to show how hardworking someone is yeah. and to continue to tell the story why we should take Nigeria back. So, uh, before I proceed, let me check uh, my end here. If anybody has made any donations so that we can keep mentioning them. There's already a real her big tour of bad who has donated a thousand naira. <laughs> and Felix Omori who has donated two thousand naira. <laughs> Just now, what we could say Jack Robinson has uh, two, two donors have come in. Let me check if there's anything on the GoFundMe. I think I saw a GoFundMe account come in earlier. Uh, there's a Regina Ikuri who just donated hundred dollars. Uh, so if you're out there and you want to make a donation to this campaign, uh, you can do so and we'll continue to announce the donors, except in cases where you don't want somebody to mention your name. You can ask your questions now uh, directly from us here. Uh, or you can send it through WhatsApp. Those who might want to reach out to those who can also send me a WhatsApp message at uh, 0818-823-7529. Uh, 0818-823-7529. If you're calling from outside Nigeria, it's plus 234-818-823-7529. Thank you. Already, So somebody is uh, advising here, he said, please decentralize your campaigns to the towns and villages in states aside from Lagos. I may say the grassroots are staff with your candidacy message so they have not known you per se. I believe you have planned to reach out to voting young mass population in towns and villages. I one of your diehard supporters have been following you up and would like to, ace to succeed on social media. You're doing okay, but on offline, you have to do a lot more. Time is not on our side. We're texting for Potaco, we need plenty of action. At the grassroots. Thank you so much. Um, uh, I will do very badly reading this because I have dyslexia. Of some <laughs> yes. Dyslexia. Yeah. You don't want to get me started on dyslexia. <laughs> How about the president who can't read at all? <laughs> what, what do you call someone who cannot read, well, a, I was, read or write? I was really, what would I say, comforted. But it doesn't affect one's intellect or yeah. intelligence. Actually. It's just yeah. the inability. I have problems. Um, struggle sometimes spelling some words with double letters mm. and maybe words that are borrowed into English, let's say from French. Like what, what kind of word? I even the word tomorrow sometimes is difficult. Yeah. I wonder whether it's do, like do double you know? R or double M. Ah, that's yeah. true. I think it's one M. And then oh, it's one M but double R. R right. yeah. Okay, come on. <laughs> so. We are doing the spelling B here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, you touched on something that really is important yes. regarding Usman's struggle. Yes. And that's what millions of Nigerians, you know, Nigeria go through. And one thing that I found so common and so universal in, in Nigeria is that genuine desire to excel in our people. And yesterday when we were in 
know, going round Lokoja, you see half of humanity, women actually, are the traders. Mm. Uh, you know, they are busy, engaged in yeah. one activity or the other. And when you go to the market across the country, you see a lot of women traders in villages, mm -hmm. in small and big markets, in shopping malls, and, and, and so on. Uh, only that they've been let down for too long and by our, you know, ruling elites and so on. And I hardly read some of the messages being thrown at our Facebook accounts and so on. But, you know, there was somebody that sent somebody that we are all sure is. Mm. Meaning, they share the same value system with us, even if we don't physically see them, mm -hmm. or we don't actually have... And, and I wanted to say, yesterday we were a little surprised that in Kaba, mm -hmm. we used to, yeah. to see how those women were dancing and they were happy to yeah. receive us and they yes. were waving at us. Yeah. And uh, on the other end, young men, some young men yeah. who constitute, uh, you know, uh, talks in the place where ex try to extort money from oh, us. Yes. <laughs> and at a point, the policemen with us mm -hmm. were actually siding with them. Yeah. Not the way with us were the policemen on the ground. They, they even try to block us so that yes. they can get those guys to extort us. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, one of our guys, uh, the sound guy, was injured. His uh, glass was broken with a stone. Uh, this is what we are up against: is uh, all these young, hungry men who have already been socialized to uh, political patronage. Mm -hmm. Just can't believe that there's anybody out there who is coming to do good for the country. But in, in the middle of that, we went there. Uh, we passed through Abajana where uh, Dagote has a cement factory. The roads are horrible, yeah. horrible. Kaba, uh, we were terrible. saying that, look, uh, they have terrible representation. Mm -hmm. of, uh, that's where Dino Melai is. Right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and that's the country of uh, Yaya Pelo. Mm -hmm. uh, while we're at it, Seye Timitokwe just made a contribution of 5,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. Baba Tunde Ola, 2,000 Naira. There is uh, a donation that came, I think, from World Remix. The person will probably announce his name. is for 10,000 Naira. One Naira. Uh, that's, that's okay now. That's okay now. Umar Guma, who is a regular here. Uh, so, go ahead. I, I'm listening Some of to those you. young guys, actually, are under the influence of this it was obvious it was obvious yeah, we saw that their roots and so on and he's such one i think yeah. even now they get some of the monies to buy these drugs from the politicians well sometimes the politicians themselves actually give them the drugs and sometimes yeah. with weapons so it also constitute to the mental health issues we talk about mm -hmm. and then of course the social ills that comes with drugs. You have to speak because loud because it is also a associated lot of people, with what crimes. Do, do you want to get the camera closer if, if people can yeah. hear us very well? So drugs and yeah. other social So you can, as you're watching us here you can also watch from the VP's the page Absolutely. Absolutely. and uh, we don't have as in up here tonight she's yes. resting mm -hmm. uh, so no worries. Somebody is uh, writing here that we should use helicopters to campaign. <laughs> <laughs> it costs money. <laughs> we yes, wish. We but wish let me say this clearly. Uh, even the so-called big parties, you know, they're, they're not campaigning. Uh, of course, they do what I would call parachute campaign. Mm -hmm, yeah. They just go to the airport um, and then they just drop, and the next one hour they're out. Of course, they don't get to see the. They don't touch people, you know, they have yeah, police. Going, you know, mm -hmm. through the roads, and then you cover more distance, mm -hmm. and then you meet more people, and then... I mean, yesterday alone, we did Kaba, mm -hmm. and we did Lokoja, yes. and then came to Abuja, and this morning we got up and did other things. Yes, absolutely. If uh, Buhari does that, he has to wait for two weeks <laughs> for steroids to be pumped into his system. Another sad thing that happened today is the Nigerian army went to the offices of Daily Trust in Nigeria to shut it down. Serious. Apparently, over a report they didn't like. Uh, this is a kind of intolerance that uh, is not acceptable in a democracy. Newspapers, news outlets cannot be arbitrarily shut down simply because you don't like their report. Excellent. I even saw somebody threatening that, oh, they finished with daily trust, they are coming after you. Wow, yeah. You can imagine in Nigeria of 2019 that yes. people threatening you with uh, the army coming after you simply because we are reporting on mm -hmm. what they don't want. 
Shame, 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 shame. And this is why we need to take our country back. Yeah. I, I want to add something to yeah. what is happening with our young people. Yeah. You know, um, having lived in the United States for 23 years, I see how ingenious Nigerians can be. Mm. One of the worst Nigerians at home when you bring them to the United States is something that mm. yes. is activated. Mm. So, Nigerian system basically represses our creative ingenuity. We are not lazy people as a matter of fact, yeah. but uh, the, the, the deprivation, the poverty, the lack of access to uh, opportunity is a huge problem that is militating against the development of Nigeria, especially mm -hmm. the country with a youth population of 70% of the entire population. population we have yeah. a time bomb in our hands. And this is what I want to tell our young people, yeah. that for the first time in history, a team of revolution, liberal revolutionaries and activists are coming together in a historic union to mm. set Nigeria free. Yeah. And they must take advantage of this moment. Wow. Thank you so much. So much. Uh, you know, we met some uh, guys today who are young politicians. And one of them actually said, Look, I'm a presidential candidate. He's a presidential candidate of his party. Yes. And he came and said, Look, all of us, 70 of us, we know. That there are only three candidates in this race, Atiku, Buhari, and Shawore. So I asked him, I said, why did they, why do you think they dropped us from the campaign? He said, of course. We are privy to why they did it. They didn't know that, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. that they cannot afford to be revealed in front of yeah. national TV when everybody's watching the presidential campaign. He said, they did it deliberately uh, to scheme us out. And, uh, but we're in court on Tuesday. We're, yes. we're going back to allow court. me to say a thing about it. Yes. Even though we are in court, we'll be there on Tuesday. Yes. But I have to make this clear and also appreciate our teachers. Yes. I remember watching a very uh, interesting program every year. It comes, I think, in January, February, called Noble Minds. Mm. So the people that receive Nobel laureate the previous years will be celebrated in Stockholm. Mm. And then last year, they owe all their successes to their teachers. Yes. And when the NEEG and BON excluded us from participation in the vice presidential and presidential debate, my primary school teacher had to call me. Wow. Yeah. She's a very interesting lady. She's now retired with some health conditions. Uh, in southern Kaduna, her husband uh, was also a pastor in my local government. Mm. Uh, she taught us so many good things in primary school, from art to math to English and so on, that she has raised, successfully raised, four children that are graduates, but wow. with no work. Mm. There's wow. nothing that they yeah, didn't do to get Them jobs. Yeah. So she now appealed to me to tell you that you are the hope for those four kids. Wow. wow. And actually she is going to push in her village mm. in southern Kaduna that four votes of her children is guaranteed. And then her own, you understand, is going to be multiplied in many ways because she's going to mobilize the woman. Wow. And then of course she was going to convince the husband also that we are around and we are the hope of our young people that they will come and vote for us massively. Yeah, yeah, see. Take it back. Yeah, and I was so really, you know, touched mm. by, yeah. by that. Mm. Because the last time I saw her, it's over 15 years. Wow. Yes, but she had the courage to find my number and ring me. Amazing. Yes. So uh, one thing we also wanted to announce tonight is that a lot of AAC uh, members and supporters, uh, TIB supporters, are not on Twitter. Yes. We have to keep reminding you to be on Twitter. Go register on Twitter. Twitter, you're doing very well on Facebook. Nobody can defeat us almost on yeah. Facebook uh, in a poll. But Twitter, we're still not well represented. It takes five seconds to uh, join Twitter. And you can quickly be, you can, you know, join our hashtag. If we can get 20,000 people on Twitter who are organic, I mean organic, nobody is buying you from China or Malaysia to support Atiku or Buari. No social media contractor involved, just direct. This is how we build the support we have uh, on Sahara Reporters in those days, so where we have about 2 million uh, followers on Twitter. You can follow me on Yale Show, 
sorry, Yale Show or Yale Twitter, Yale Show on Instagram, Yale, that is Y L E S H O on Instagram. On, uh, on Twitter, it's Yale Show or Y E L E S O W O R E. And you have a Twitter account too. Yes. You should join Twitter so that you can be voting for us, you can be retweeting our content, you can like them, and you can make comments. And this is where so this is one of the battle fronts for the conversation on social media about Nigerian election. And a lot of people are spending billions. Since we don't have it, we need you to be there to defend our own turf there. Uh, the moment you get there, you discover that nobody can defeat us on Twitter. We don't want to have to pay any social media influencer. We want to make all of you social media influencer because this is a battle of the lifetime. So, uh, smart, you're also on Twitter? Yes, right? I'm, what's your I'm Twitter smart. Handle? Right. What's your Twitter handle? And, uh, I have two. Uh, Dr. Abu Ahmed and Dr. Ander and Dr. Bonasera. Oh, Dr. Bonasera, that's his nickname on Twitter. Yes. Please, we want to see you join Twitter in mass uh, and make sure that uh, you are participating actively, not only on Facebook or Instagram, we need you on Twitter. Uh, a lot of people are also on, uh, what's the other, what's the third one? Uh, Instagram? Not Instagram. Telegram? Oh. No, that's we have, we have WhatsApp and uh, yeah, WhatsApp. Telegram. So those ones are different. We're talking about social media outlets. There is one Snapchat as Snapchat, well. Yes. I'm not on Snapchat. But that's a little bit sassy. Yeah. <laughs> Snapchat. You know? Yes. So, but I hear that a lot of people on Snapchat who are not even on Twitter or Instagram. Yes. That's the most popular place to be. Uh, I have a very good IT friend. He's so IT savvy. He said, why don't we join all the social Media into platform. one and then he gave it a name you tweet my face oh okay <laughs> yeah you can actually print you can do that Why not? Yes. all right let's go back to seeing our donations coming uh somebody is calling i'm sorry we can't take calls this is the time we cannot take calls i'm sorry uh, okay there's nothing uh okay there's nothing from uh the account of any bank. I think there's a network issue at this point, probably, because uh, otherwise there's another. Uh, we have someone who is sent money through World Remit, and uh, okay, that's 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 been here. So if we get any donations, we announce uh, as we go. And if there's anybody, okay, this Lukman Larry just donated another thirty uh, dollars. Thank you, Lukman Larry. Let me see here also um, if there's any questions for us on uh, on WhatsApp, my WhatsApp page. So can you please update me on the NTA debate? Uh, we'll be in court on Tuesday. Let you know. Uh, NTA, not channels. This NTA, the debate is NTA channels. They're talking about the bomb debate, the okay. NADG one. There is a town hall mm. uh, event yes. that's happening on NTA. That one is January 23 for It's town hall. Mm. It's just me and Doc uh, answering to an audience. Yeah, live it's audience. not a debate, live audience. Mm. And that's for two hours as well. So you I, know, hope you're I, I, I discussed the, the issue how best Nigeria can actually conduct debates okay. like, like this. And, and it's not bad if you copy a very good system. And we're not trying to say we are so Western or European or American, but America has a very good history and culture of debates. And in Nigeria, we can copy that. Yes. I discussed that with this issue with a lot of medical colleagues and professors in universities. And I challenge our schools, why don't you take this into account? Exactly. Uh, because you look yeah. more independent yeah. and, and probably more, more intellectually yeah, yeah, you know, savvy. savvy and curious. Um, and there's no reason we should have only one debate. Yeah, there should I'm be not like seven serious. Yeah, so there should the be one issues. for universities, yeah. one for women issues, yeah. one for social justice issues yeah. that can take place in different places. Uh, Locations. And I believe that could go a long way. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Uh, OAU, yeah. Yeah. for me, our university yeah. host on economics, healthcare, and mm -hmm. education. And then we have University of Justice, the center of Nigeria, host something on security. And then we can throw one up to make degree. Yes. And each city hosting this, you will see some bubbles, That's right. and then you see more engagement with the public. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. But when you have the academia pushed to one side, it's only now that they are begging them to take part in the elections. 
and INEC also discussed with them and also said, well, our members are free to also partic to participate in the election process. People ask you to speak louder. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. it is good that these kind of things actually, uh, the universities are uh, being involved, but we won't see more involvement in the way debates are being hosted because Bonn is actually a government agency. Yeah. So you expect to see some, uh, you know, they give the government in power some upper hand. And I think the NDG the excuses as they, you know, they, they brought for our exclusion is very, you know, insulting. In very frivolous. Yeah. yeah. Because as a matter of fact, if it, if it wasn't, mm -hmm. the, <laughs> the wind that we're running around, they have been running around to avoid service of the court summons. Absolutely. You know, they apparently don't even have an office. How do you organize presidential debates? Uh, no, I was even more appalled with the system they use. They say some multiple, multi state sampling technique. And it's a lie. Whatever. They Maybe they do. insulted the professors in Columbia mm. University who taught you yeah. uh, some quality Yes. People yeah. were unhappy, actually. And later they mentioned funds. There's nothing they haven't, there's no excuse they haven't used. So smart, let's just talk about the debate a little bit. You have followed debates in the US. Yes. After, you know, having spent 23 years over there. So tell us, how, what are the debates uh, and, uh, you know, how do they conduct them? Do they have a limited number of people they can take? How do they decide who to invite to debate? Is it something you know a little bit about? Mm. I'm not quite sure that there is a limit to how many people can be in a debate. You know, it depends on the, the number of people in uh, the race for any particular party. Uh, this party set up this debate involving uh, private organizations, mm -hmm. never by the government. Mm -hmm. And there are the debates we do in Nigeria one of good in really choosing great leadership yes. because that helps uh, uh, the people watching to explore various uh, aspirants or candidates, you know, their strengths on issues, you know, and, you know, because what part of the problem we have in Nigeria is that Nigerian politics is not issue driven, yes. uh, not issue based. So that's why most of them avoid, do everything they can to avoid being in debates with those. Uh, I've stated that uh, it looks like the Nigerian system is scared of conflict engaging its intellectuals. Yeah. That, that, that's a, a, a big problem. So, um, one step, but uh, we need some more. We need a series of debates you know, yeah. for at all levels, you know, for us to be able to pinpoint who actually mean well for leadership for this country at all levels. It is very, very important thing that uh, we need to uh, imbibe a new culture you know, uh, different from uh, the dark uh, world business that we have been doing that uh, give us only access, access to mm. accepting whatever anybody in the group of persons who throw at us. You know, yeah. I, I was I was so um, angry uh, shortly before I came home to have met a Nigerian mm. who is in the know of how they manipulate election results, even how they import uh, candidates mm. and tell him you are the one going. So wow. we waste our people's time lining uh, the streets on 14 days mm -hmm. under harsh weather conditions mm -hmm. for a predetermined uh, outcome already. Mm -hmm. So this is one reason why we must ensure that our votes count this time. And the results should be made available at every polling unit so it won't give room for manipulation afterwards. Yeah. You guys said uh, there are questions, uh, there are questions on the social media, I mean on Facebook. For us, uh, we don't have a full house to do so. And then I would love to see the during the debate actually to get a live audience to ask questions rather than to have questions in envelope in an envelope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like wire, yes. you know, they will say, "Oh, it's sealed." Sort of. I would expect uh, questions to come from live audience rather than envelopes. So. Um. Any plans to meet with Pastor Issa Ebuba in Jos? I don't know we go to Jos. We yes. Come in there. Yeah. We'll try to meet with him. I think someone should be arranging that. We can go worship in church. <laughs> Why not? Um, 
Hello, I think AAC campaign needs to start recruiting and training partisans that will be on payroll on how to man the polling station post to avoid uncertainty of results. Absolutely. This, that has been done as we speak. Uh, we are recruiting agents. If you want to be a party agent for us in any part of Nigeria, please uh, feel free to volunteer uh, and uh, we will reach out to you and get you ready for the detail. Uh, my president went, went to Oh, it said mm. just talking about Nigerian sports another better way of job employment of course yes uh, I agree with you uh, it's the reason why we improve sports in schools and neighborhoods mm. you know what is interesting about you know, is that we love soccer sure. yeah yeah but we don't um, have to, we don't have anywhere any place to play <laughs> not even schools have like I was expanding our spice I heat the yeah. other time with colleagues and some people I met on the street. I said the ten fingers actually present the major, you know, points of the spice I hit. That's which right. Nigeria needs spice in there. Yeah. Because it's so tasteless. And even to the dull, uh, we want to make Nigeria, you know, very tasty so that we can actually attract people to come and visit us as part of our tourism and culture. And sports is actually one area that is neglected in this country. Of course. Yeah, apart from making our youth participate to make Nigeria proud in competitions, it makes people healthier. You know, when you play soccer, when you play basketball. When you run. You remember yesterday I saw like six bunch of young guys trying to grab your hand. I said, that's a part of basketball. <laughs> They're quite tall enough. Yeah. And they look very well built, yes. And, uh, you know, at a point in time, I think, you are from uh, uh, Delta. Yes. I wish you are from Abia State to make this clear. Kano Wonko is from Abia, but he had more fans in Kano than Abia. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. The way we love soccer. Yeah. And one of the good things that happened the previous year, 2018, were actually two goals uh, that were scored by Ahmed Musa against the team, the Icelandic team. You understand? Yeah, so that really made Nigeria to cheer and so on and bring happiness and so on. And not only soccer, we have other games. Uh, like in the afternoon, I was in my friend's house playing tennis. Okay. Uh, I mean, table tennis. Mm -hmm. We can develop. You didn't invite me, I would have uh, trashed Yeah, you said that. <laughs> yes. So it's part of our system actually to also improve uh, tourism. Mm -hmm. You remember we mentioned the Ubudukati Rurans Arugun Fishing Festival, the Yankari Game Reserve. We want to build museums, you understand? So that we really keep our history there. Uh, because one way of destroying a society or an whole empire is to what, cut them off, you know, from their roots. Before I forget, let's uh, acknowledge our latest donors. We have Ajedo Kukazim and Miola for 10,000 naira here. Yeah. This is Odoe Emela, Israel Chibweze for 5,000 naira here. This is Sage Newton or Sage, 20,000 naira. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, so, and, uh, let me see if there's anything from GoFundMe at this time. Uh, wow, Israel Livingston donated $25. Thank you. So people are actually paying attention to this live streaming yes, events and as a result are uh, yeah. uh, making a donation uh, into our live stream uh, bank accounts all over <laughs> the world. People are responding. So my president, this is a little family man of the day, so discuss with me about yourself. Sometimes last year I've been looking for every minute to have a talk with you at the same time. You are so busy traveling here and there. Well done, my president, to be in 2019. I don't know when you'll be coming back to England. I don't know when you'll be moving near RCCG when I have my home in Nigeria. I believe a tree cannot make a forest. We can only win the race by rubbing minds together. On my own, I strongly campaign on your behalf and I'll still continue anyways. I would really appreciate if you can reach me on WhatsApp on this number. If you want to come to Moway, Nigeria, then carry me along and you have lots of supporters there. AAC, take it back. Wow, I said I'm watching live now from London. Thank you so much, uh, brother, for Someone reaching has out. a question here. Uh, what's the question? Olubumi Luwaleye saying that how long does it take one to register to become a member of AAC after you've got your GBC? 
It's, it takes five seconds. So you go on, you go on our website aacparty.org and you register there, and then you can also pay your party fee, which is like very small. I think it's like you know really cheap. And then the moment you do that, uh, you're good to go. Um, somebody says, said, my friends told me today that PDP has started sharing money in Benin against the upcoming presidential election, but I want them not to be part of it. They should vote for ASU for better Nigeria. Yes. If you vote for PDP, your life will go back to darkness. You know, all those bad things they did for 16 years. You do the same to APC, you vote for them. You get cluelessness, just like Amici has told you, <laughs> your life will be upside down. Uh, it's not in which you said that people. we are not saying every day anyway. Particularly in the Northeast, they yeah. said they have two evils to deal with. with the evil of PDP and the evil of APC. Okay. So you don't have to vote for any evil. Actually, there is a very active, agile, young, energetic, hard-working, you know, Nigerian, minimum of Omoe Nishore, under this outright party, African And also, Congress. Dr. Yeah. Wow. Uh, they just struck, Nepal just struck here where we are, but uh, we can continue. I, think. Yeah. I hope we have internet, right? Yeah, do we still yeah. have internet? AAC, take, take, it, take it back, back. take it back, action. Nice, nice yeah. back. Uh, I have some a long one to read here. I have so much respect and appreciation for your surplus and invaluable service and commitment to seeing a better Nigeria. It's infectious and worthy of emulation. It's shame. I'm not there with you guys, but I'd like to say I've followed you for months now and it's always safe to say I'm with you in spirit. Excellent. I'm in Liverpool, UK, but I'm from Benin City. Mm. I'm trying to preach the gospel to my friends and family. It's safe to say that there's little or no awareness on, uh, calling at this yes. time. Uh, on the movement in that area. So I've decided to organize a campaign through my friends and family, mobilizing their friends and those around them. Are there any formalities to be observed. I will be printing handbills and posters, print shirts, and other campaign materials. I'm sponsoring it as I'm not asking for any financial assistance. Just want to know what I need to do. I don't have a contact. Do I have a contact to 3 IBM in Benin? If yes, thanks. God bless you and your loved ones. Together, we're taking it back. Country this year. I just to God. Greetings to Zainab and other crew members. AC, TIB, action, action, no going back. So, we actually have people in Benin yes. and those states. Uh, probably some of our best followers are based in, in and outside of those states. Uh, they started this whole thing. So, we'll get back in touch with you. So, I'll put you in touch with them. Yes. You can uh, just add your materials to what they have, and that will be very, very helpful. So, I have another person here who is talking about logic. So, can you send me the information on how to pay as a member, please? As uh, an enemy of the state? Yeah. But I am here, I'm not scared. The, the most important thing that we can do now, especially I address the young people yes. of Delta, and a lot of you, you know how much I love you. The AAC is an ideology. It's not like the political party you know, mm. with the outlets for sharing and robbing people. Yes. I want you, as a matter of urgency, within these few weeks that we have for the election, to stand and take a position on the way forward. The majority of you are unemployed. You know, uh, you leave on um, handouts for people who have taken their children outside Nigeria. They keep them in the United States. They arm you, they drug you, and uh, expect you to be their slaves and they prepare you for further slavery when their children come of age. That's right. When are you going to ask yourself this question? Mm. I have my own children born in the United States. Mm. They have paid price, a lot of price, by virtue of my absence, sharing quality uh, family time. I, they, they are paying those prices. Even they have offered part of their scholarship fund to fund my activities in Nigeria. Wow. We are your friends. We are your brothers. You live in that squalor, but you don't see it. Yes. That is the greatest challenge. To be told that somebody who is killing you, who is slaughtering your future, who is abusing you, now comes around and tells you five over five, that is PDP or the way. PDP or the way is dead. It's a combo, it's a system they used to sell evil. 
those who will never do well. So I want you to take a stand. And, and I talked to my brothers and sisters with whom I was in the APC. You know, a lot of you uh, know my position on issues. That is why that was why I decided to leave the APC two months to the primary election. It's not like I did not have uh, 8.5 million to pay for a piece of paper that I wasn't guaranteed of an outcome that would benefit me or you. So that was why they started sidelining me. They are intolerant of people with their varying views from their, uh, their squalid views. So take a moment to think. Take a moment to make a decision. The, what is going to happen in 2019 will be so historic. I invite you to be part of this history. I really invite you so that you will be remembered as a generation who stood up for Nigeria when, it was, when she was in desperate need. I am begging you. I am passionately appealing you. Appealing to you. Set the issue of instant gratification aside. Yeah. Because that will not lead you anywhere. Very well. But one meal, and then you know the what excretion is about, and then it's gone, and then you are back to square one. That's what they want you to, to be. They, they want you to come cap in hand always to them, so that they keep you, keep you in that bondage, in that captivity for the rest of your life. You were created for a purpose on earth. You must live out that purpose. You must not, you must not continue to support the, the dream the first dream, the robbery against your future, the robbery against the next generation. Every right-thinking father prepares the children for the next generation. Yeah. But the group of politicians we have in Nigeria, don't care. They are squandermanic. They destroy the future. They destroy now. And they destroy the country. Don't be part of them again. I appeal to you that on the election day, just put your votes behind all the credible AAC candidates. So they are special candidates. They did not just come. It's history put together. Now history is uniting something great for, for a product, a group of products for Nigeria. So take advantage of this moment. And I, I will be seeing you very soon. By the grace of God, in no distant time, I will bring our presidential candidate to the to Delta State yes. to shake up this. AAC, take, take it back. back. Take it back. Action. So, VP, for those who might be asking after you when you disappear again, <laughs> <laughs> tell them where you go, what, what to expect. I mean, this is uh, probably the Look, second half of the what? of injury time. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm going to actually evangelize it to the whole nation, not only Delta. Yes. Because that is a really honest speech and discussion. I want Nigerians to know that it is our time. This is 2019. And this is the moment to make this radical decision. To really take a marked departure from this past. We want to bury it. We want to create the new Nigeria that even the unborn children of Nigeria who come to inherit, they have seen the problems. Now we have to now seek for the solutions, and the solution is African Action Congress. So I want to use this opportunity actually to thank our team seriously because of the good work they've been putting in preparing our visits to various states and all the people doing our media work and then our party members across the globe. Because I keep telling you, AAC doesn't speak Igbo, Yoruba, or Hausa. What we speak is called Globish mm -hmm. as a language because you have seen the donations coming from Italy, yeah. from China, Spain, from China. Spain, Australia, and even in Nigeria. There's no part of Nigeria that. In fact, right see. now, people in Nigeria, people who are based in Nigeria, accounts in Nigeria have donated more money yeah. than accounts from abroad. Yeah. So, yeah. so I want to thank the entire African family Naira generated local yeah, it has never happened happen in the history of this country before that people donated locally Nigerians are used to collecting from politicians and that's where you know what we're doing is very important historically you know people who are following us are saying that we are being cheated we are being cheated by the local media in the country 
they are not reporting on so many of the historic steps that we are taking out, how we are changing minds, we are changing perception, we are changing attitudes, and we are changing conduct of both political actors, you know, political participants, followers, even political scientists are not paying attention to what we are doing, but we've done so much in nine months mm. that has changed the way political conversations are handled in Nigeria. You know, whether by way of the way we discuss publicly, you know, on the airwaves, we've done TV. However, not be getting the kind of coverage that we deserve. You know, I have, now they're taking notice of this, they're taking notice of us and they're reaching out. So on Wednesday, actually, Wednesday 7 a.m. in Abuja, we'll be on the NTA money show. Never, they've never invented us before. Uh, that was, that's the 7 a.m. in the morning. And we're going to go there and speak our mind. They said they're afraid of things we have to say. You know, you are afraid of things we have to say, but you are not afraid of things that have not been said, that is destroying the country. They are afraid of the truth. They are afraid of the truth. You know, you can have fake news, but there's no fake truth. <laughs> you know, uh, and we will continue saying what we believe, and we're not going to tone it down because our leaders are tone deaf. Contest that the local government can <laughs> contest senator. You won't, you won't win your union. You won't win your union. You'll be betting on the social media that oh, Shawere will not get twenty thousand votes. So, if Shawere doesn't get twenty thousand votes and the people who are pressing you get their sixty million votes, what does it what does it do for you? Mm. And some people will be saying, oh, we're going to wait for twenty twenty two. Who gave you the impression under this guys that you last twenty twenty two? That's the question you should ask yourself. That under a government of Nigeria managed by Buhari and Ati, who gave you the impression that you will last in 2023? Driving on the roads that they have neglected, in hospitals that they don't give drugs to, or in schools that is teaching ignorance, or a life that is surrounded by everything that kills, you know. Who told you? And a country that has crowded with this. Uh, lack of expectancy. expectancy. So, so many arrows. So Four everything arrows. is pointed against you. So when you are there thinking about 2023, <laughs> you don't know if you will make it past even next year. Mm -hmm. I mean this year, when these guys start to block your future. Well, they already, guarantee. Yeah, they've destroyed your future, they destroyed the present times you are in. They are ganging up against us as we speak. That's why they are not campaigning. And we are telling you that this is very low tiny voice of ours yeah. could change all the situation. Somebody made a joke today on uh, Facebook uh, talking about soccer. They said uh, Marinho, Jose Marinho, Marinho, Jose Marinho, who is uh, the coach of uh, Manchester United was changed. And since he was changed, they have won four straight games. He said, five, right? You follow soccer too. <laughs> Are you into this bet Niger team? Yeah, but not bad. <laughs> you know, I got the same mockery. Right. That this anyway, terrible gesture yes. of four plus four. The four plus four exactly. start today. Yeah. It's been there. But immediately they were sworn into office. They were just looking after the next yeah. one. After That's the why they didn't do anything because they know they're gonna pull you with another four plus four. Yes. fingers. Yes. It can it can make your future good. It will just sometimes I get just, chastised though. Yeah. Why, why from being a GP to VP? Oh wow. Being what is a GP? I'm being a general practitioner. Yeah, I keep telling you know, I'm actually that's a doctor public for you. health. Yeah. <laughs> but I said actually it's interesting that when people like me, doctors, can think out of the box mm -hmm. because they want us to remain in our disease parlors mm -hmm. and you know 
but most of what could make people healthy are even outside the hands of the so hospitals. Wow. Because you're That's talking it. of water mm-hmm. supply. Because I remember working with a nurse who takes statistics of mortality, death in hospital. There was a time in one quarter he recorded over 27 deaths mm. of children with perforated intestine wow. as a result of typhoid. And the root cause of all these are what? Water. And you're talking of water. You know? And so, yeah. Yeah. so you understand that if you really want to make people better, you need to come out of the hospital. You understand? And then into the wider world. Yes. Talking about education, road safety, Through policies, yeah. agriculture. Because there are I mean, the roads are safe. Absolutely. You don't have to. Have well, to when you nutrition. You don't yeah. have the figures of under five you know, mortalities. You know, that when I was in, I think I was in college in those days of uh, HIV mm-hmm. uh, conversation, and yes. one of our teachers said, you know, the immune system depends on food. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> if absolutely. you are, if you can't get food, you're already HIV positive <laughs> <laughs> because you have the lowest immunity yes. in terms of lack of nutrition. Yes. So uh, you don't even have to be as hard. Mm-hmm. Anyways, we have reached the end of uh, our broadcast tonight, what uh, we talk State of the Nation broadcast. But I want to check quickly if we have any uh, any donations coming from uh, Zenith Bank. You know, I think they have network issues because I'm sure that our people are making donations, but they're not reaching us. Uh, Simon, I brief for do- donating hundred dollars. Wow, it's and let me check if we have uh, any comments from here. I said uh, there's someone from UK that says we show the best it is, must win this election. Uh, yes, yes. Secret uh, the VP. Okay, there's some message for the VP here. Uh, I said, why is that Nigerian artists don't want to support you? I can see many of them backing up. Uh, Nigerian <laughs> artists, nah. Cash and carry now. So many of them. Uh, but we have some that are supporting us. Uh, yes, people yes. like Duncan Mighty, mm-hmm. Africa, China, Idris, Africa, Rim, we've supported. Yes, yeah. uh, so that's good. Uh, as long as the Nigerian people support us, that's all we need. So I'll tell you, it's uh, time to call it a night. We have a long day tomorrow ahead of us. So we will be saying good night to all of you uh, here in Nigeria. Maybe good morning to those of you in Australia, yes. and uh, it's good afternoon to people in Texas. Yes, yes, yeah, right. yeah. Uh, yeah. The day is too young there. It's still young, but if you're in Texas and the U.S. in general, if you're watching us since this afternoon, please throw your donation so that uh, we can keep this uh, machine moving until we crush all of our oppressors. Thank you so much, and if you want to support the smart, don't forget you can send me a WhatsApp message. I'll put you directly in touch with him, or we will put you directly in touch with him. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on him because somebody's in my comment demolishes little building. <laughs> Make sure that he has got a place. Uh, and of course, you know he has stayed in car. His house is fabulous. Wow, absolutely fantastic. All right, guys. Uh, good night, and. Uh, we we'll talk to you again same time, probably same place. We're not sure. It depends on how things work tomorrow. Whenever it's uh, possible to reach you. Meanwhile, don't stop spreading message. Continue to send in your donation and support until we defeat all the old cargoes in this country and set Nigeria free. AAC, take it back. Take it back. Action. 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 Action.